nerves cause she's a treat Ooh, She's so bougie bougie, oh never tea I'm a savage Hey guys, welcome back to my channel so today i'm giving you a little tutorial on how i achieve my jumbo goddess braids i start by parting my hair in the middle this is because i wanted to be able to um, wear the hair down in the middle part so i just parted my hair in the middle just to make sure i had like a straight line and it was where i wanted it to be Once that was done, I pinned up one side of the sections to ensure that it doesn't get mixed up with the other side and I lose the line that I've just made. I wanted these braids to be pretty big so I start by taking quite a large sec squared section. Um, I just make sure that the part is very straight and neat. You want to make sure that you pin the hair that you don't want in the braid out of the way because if not it just makes it difficult and could end up looking pretty messy. To do this I think I used about six packs of expressions. This is one whole pack. I cut it in the middle and split it in half. To slick the sections I used um, beeswax and I just put it all around the part, I used the black beeswax. I put it all around the parting, around the sections. After that I then combed the product in just so it could smooth out and be evenly distributed. I then went in with the red gummy wax. I absolutely love this product. Um, um, it's the ultra hard one. It's so good. In process, comb, put it all around the parting and combed it up just to evenly distribute and making it sure it's nice and sleek. To do those jumbo braids, I used the feed-in method, so it's like kind of important to have like the little um, pieces of hair that you want to add in like on hand because it just makes the job easier. So literally I start by plaiting the braid with just my hair and then I feed in like bits of, um, bits of the extensions like into as I'm braiding it. As you can see I'm literally feeding it into the braid as I'm plaiting so I started by plaiting the hair by itself so it has like a flat base I didn't want it to have a knot I wanted it to be pretty flat and look very um, seamless these braids were pretty long so they went down quite far so it did take a minute to get them done but it was completely worth it because I was really happy with the results. So I just continued feeding the braid in um, just to make sure it kept its thick consistency and it didn't like look like too thin at the ends. So I just kept on feeding it as I'm plaiting.
Once I was happy with the length of the braid, I was ready to end it. So I took a thin piece of the extension at the end and tied it around and knotted it. I did this twice just to secure it and make sure it's nice and tight and secure. Once that was done, I then went around the braid with scissors, just cutting off any of the flyaways or the bits of hair that are like I could see hanging out and I wanted the braid to look neat. So this is crucial. with the braid I realized I forgot to like leave out my baby hairs so I just got the comb and pulled out the baby hairs like I like ba baby hairs very much so they're a crucial part of my look so to do the next braid I did the same thing went in with a large section but I did not um part them in line with each other i wanted them to like have a brick like layering effect i didn't want the braids to be all uniform i wanted them to like lay kind of like brickish so i just put the line like just before the um, braid before if that makes sense um basically doing the same thing adding the beeswax um adding the gummy as well and combing it through smoothing it down making sure it looks nice and neat taking out my baby hairs making sure they're ready to be fleeked up when i'm all done Once again, I start the braid by um, plaiting my own hair to begin with. So I put like a few plaits in there and then I feed in the extensions as I'm plaiting. So as I'm plaiting, feeding in the extensions until I'm happy with the length and I'm ready to end the braid. Once the braid is complete, I then take, again, a small piece of hair, wrap it around and knot it. I do this at least twice just to make sure it's secure and it doesn't unravel while I'm doing the rest of the head. again I parted using the brick method where it was just off it was not like all in line together I did this throughout the head um, just making sure that it just all looks uniform but like in a brick layer format and I went in with the beeswax the black beeswax and the gummy and combed it and smoothed it making sure it's all nice and smooth took my baby hairs out and basically I did this process throughout my head like I repeat this the exact same process all throughout my head taking out medium to large sections
one last time I'll show you that I just began by plaiting the hair and then feeding in the extensions as I'm plaiting. It's important to plait the hair and um, your natural hair first if you don't want the knot look. So you can just feed in the braids and kind of conceal it within your natural hair. It really helps and it just looks. I Sometimes I like the knotted look, but this time I thought the um, knotless braids would be cuter. So I thought I'd do them. And once I was done feeding in, I did the same process once again, repeating, um, knotting it twice, making sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't unravel, and then cutting off the excess flyaways. You could always cut off the excess flyaways once you've done all the braids, but I just did it as I was as I did a braid. I cut off the excess flyaways. Once I was done with the whole head, I cut off the ends up to the length that I wanted it and I sealed them using a lighter so I used them using the flame and pinching it at the end so once it, the flame was on it and had melted the hair I pinched it just so it um, sealed nicely together and looked neat and cute at the end like I didn't want it to like unravel and open it up so it's really important to like pinch it and shape it the way you want it I repeated this method on every braid individually and it didn't take too long because the jumbo braids there's not that many of them so it was super easy um, put the lighter on it pinched it to shape it and make it nice and cute it is hot so be careful if you're doing this it is hot so you might get a little bit burnt but you get used to it Now time to add the goddess aspects of the braids. So I took um, thin pieces, like like mm, quite small pieces of the expressions, and I looped it through using like the what is it, the crochet method. Looped it through and tied it around um, the what are these things called? Like the perming rods. Yeah, I looped it around the perming rods and just curled it and set it there so I did this thing all around my head like in different spots so the curls were randomly placed so I did it in the middle of the braid at the top of the braid in different areas all around um, all around my head so I looped it through looped it through using a small piece of hair using the um, crochet thing hook looped it through tightened it and then put the perming rod on it to create a curl Once everything is done, it's important to set them with hot water, like boiling water. So these are boiling water set 
um, expressions, extensions. So it's important to set them with like boiling water. So I basically dipped them one by one in the boiling water, emerged them completely. And then I, to make sure I didn't get any boiling water on me, I quickly, I had a towel on my lap and I quickly wrapped it around the towel just to soak up all that excess moisture and water just to make sure there's no unhappy accidents. Did this mainly because I really didn't want to spend the extra money on um, on curly extensions and to, like, to be honest they mat out eventually as well so this does um, get matted and um, the curl just loses its shape but it's so easy to literally all I do when that happens I brush it out put it in the rods set it again um, set it again with hot water and they're good as new. So once I had soaked all of the um, rods in boiling water to set them, I made sure I oiled my scalp. This is very important. I'm trying to grow out my hair and like just have healthier hair. So I'm using like a mixture of the, it's really popular, um, the Do Grow, Sophia 8 and Castor Oil mixture. So if you'd like me to like show my progress on that and um, sh leave a review, just leave a comment. Um, Leave a comment, let me know if you're, that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing, um, my journey of my hair growth and if the do grow a mixture does actually work. Um, I'm using it on like the whole family at the moment and it's going pretty good. Probably my most favorite part the baby hair time so to do my baby hairs I use the gummy the gummy stuff the ultra hold red one I just lay my edges down with this so I swoop did you swoop with this um, yeah I just lay down I cover my edges completely with the product first and then once that's done I get the um, I use the edges brush I actually really like it because it's double-sided it has like the soft brush bit and it has the comb bit so I use the soft brush um, the little mini edges brush and I just swoop swoop did it swoop with that you know swoop them edges girl swoop until I'm happy with it and literally that's it well that's not it I do go over the top of it you'll see it you'll see in a moment but i do um go over the top of it with the got to be the black gel i like just sealing the the um i like sealing it with that so it can actually kind of harden and set because the wax will remain it will give it a hold but it will remain soft i kind of wanted it to set up hard so i put the um the got to be gel on top of it
And this is the part where I just get the gel. Once I'm happy with the way I've um, laid the edges, I literally just get the gel and just layer it on top, just to set it nicely. And this is very important to set them. Um, just use a mousse all over the hair, all over the braids just to wrap it um, and then I wrap it with like a silk scarf and I left it overnight to be honest um, I left it like this for a few days because I literally had nowhere to go but you could as soon as the rods dry just take it out Here I am a few days later after I've glammed up. Some of the rods did fall out because I had I like at least two days I did not um I did not take them out. So some of them did fall out like while I was sleeping or while I was doing stuff. But I literally just unwrap them, um, sp um separate them with my fingers a little bit, and I did this all over the head and I was ready to go. <laughs> I was really feeling them like I was super feeling myself it's not a crime <laughs> and the last finishing touches the these were so cute and I think I got them for like 99p like from the hair shop like it was a set it came with like this um this string that I put like on one in the middle at the back and I just like put it in like a cross zigzag pattern and it also came with um these what are they called they it just came with these clips like these silver cage like clips that you just put around the braid and they came in different sizes so they had uh, big ones they had small ones like this this set was such a good bargain it was such a good buy and yeah i just cut the excess bit of um string at the end off because i had too much these are the cage like clips I was talking about so I literally just opened it up and put it on the braid and I did this all around the hair randomly putting it at the ends at the top and the middle just all over the head in different spots. Okay, here I am just trying to show you how long they are. They're just past my butt and they're super cute and super long and I'm in love. I'm so happy with the final product. This is how I wear the hair majority of the time. I love a good half up, half down, honey. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and what you'd like to see next. See you next week.